Hey everyone, JG Production One with another episode of Finding Isaac Rebirth After Birth DLC. In the last episode, we beat Greed Mode as Azazel, um, and unlocked Lilith and Kane. The episode, because he's the first one on the list, we'll be playing Kane on normal mode, not Greed Mode. Um, Kane's not too unique of a character. Um, he's he's relatively fast, has good damage, not too high damage, but good enough damage. Um. He his his only his biggest problem is he doesn't have very good range. Um, oh, that was that was just that was just my fault, honestly. <laughs> um, uh, he starts with the item. Um, he starts with the item the left hand. Um, no 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 not the left hand. Um, luck foot, which um makes you which um increases luck, which you know makes it more likely for items to drop at the end of a room. Um, oh come on. Um. Sorry, I was just playing pretty badly there. Um, and also makes it um more likely to win in um arcades. Infestation two, that's pretty good. Um, infestation two. Um, every time your shot kills an enemy, it spawns a blue spider. Very, very good. Not, not super, not like brokenly powerful, but it's nice. See, we just kill, we kill the spider and. Essentially, instead of only spawning, instead of spawning one spider, only spawn two, because one of them turned to a blue spider, which then attacked the other spider, which weakened it and then allowed us to hit it only once, and then it died. That was also just that was just stupid. Okay, okay, Josh, stop playing poorly. Okay, we should we should be fine against the boss. Okay, the widow, yeah. I mean, we might we might lose. You never know. But I think I think we've probably got a win here. Widow's not not the hardest boss. I'm also not playing the best. Oh my okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's ignore that. Um Oh, he uh he also starts with the key, which is nice. Um, which means, you know, if you actually make it to the second floor, you can guarantee to open the item room. Splunker hat, that means, um, we can see what's going to be on the other side of any given door, and, um, we can see where secret rooms are. So I, I know where the two, the, I know that both secret rooms are over there. Um, can't go into them, because, um, unlike X-ray vision, it doesn't open them, it doesn't open the doors. Um, technically speaking, it's not worse than X-ray vision in every, sing in every way possible, because it does show you, oh god, that was that was horrible. We're probably gonna lose here, um, because uh, we don't need we don't we don't need to play well. Um, Kane's usually not one of my worst characters, but I guess I guess I'm just playing poorly. Um, uh, well, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, super troll bombs, which is what got me there, can be very annoying because I, I didn't realize the super troll bomb had dropped. Until, you know, it was way past too late, and it had essentially already exploded. And they do an entire heart of damage, which is annoying. Because I don't, I don't like, oh, come on. I thought I had, I thought I shot him away. Um. And, uh, Super Troll Bombs are the bombs with the faces on them that home after you, um. Which is very annoying. Um. Come on. There we go. Um. Okay, we got a half red heart, a eternal heart, and sin soil, which is damage and range up, which is it's a pretty decent item. Not best item in the game, not worst item in the game. Okay, yeah, see, I, I can tell there's a mini boss here, so I'm gonna go here because I think we can take any mini boss. Yeah, lust isn't too bad. Um, and because we know there's a mini boss here, we know that greed is not gonna be in the uh shop. It's not super helpful. Because, you know, we aren't, we don't really need to go into the shop, because, well, I mean, you know, we could spend all of those zero money we have, but, you never know, like, we might get a, we might get, like, the quarter or something and want to go to the shop. So it's useful to know that there isn't greed there, so I don't need to be cautious when I walk into the shop, because I know it's not going to try to kill me. So, item room here, um, scapular, I believe... I believe what the scapula does. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Um, I believe what the scapula does is, uh, 
Um, uh, if you get hit down to uh, half a heart, half a red heart once, um, you get a soul heart, um, which is pretty good. Um, it, it's not once, it's once per room. Okay, there's only a battery in there, which is upsetting, but oh well. You know, would have preferred, I don't know, like 20 cents would have been cool. Thing is, being the most that can be there is nine cents. Uh, pretty flies are just orbitals. We have we currently have two. You can have a maximum of three. Um, they get overridden by most orbitals because they're considered the weakest orbital. But it's nice because it blocks shots, which is good. Blocking shots is good. Okay, monstro. We should be able to take him. We've got decent damage because since oil. Um, he's got to bob and weave through all of the shots, and we should be able to take him out no problem. As, as long as we don't get hit, then we'll definitely get a double room. I'm not saying we won't get hit. It is completely plausible. It's it's not it's not even it's not plausible. It is reasonably likely. But it didn't happen, so we're good. So that means we get a double room. Uh, mom's underwear range up. Oh wow. Petrified poop. Every time we break a poop, it has a very high chance to drop money. Okay, there's hands and the item is the book of sin. Mediocre, but oh well. Every time you use it, it, drops a random item. Air quotes random. We got a lot of the same thing in there. Um, there's a uh, I know there's a battery in here, so I'm gonna pick that up because maybe we could get a bomb. There we go. And with the bomb, we can go to the um, actually, no, we're not gonna go to secret room. We're gonna go to we're gonna do this. Trust me, trust me, this is a good idea. Um, because petrified poop. Every, oh, I should have blown up the other one. I didn't think this through well enough. Dang it. I was like, oh, look, I've got a good idea. And then it wasn't a good idea because it didn't work. Dang it. That's a stupid idea. I was like, oh, there's a bomb in there. We can get that. I didn't realize that. It didn't work. Oh, well, moving down. Two red hearts, no soul hearts. Um... That is that is fine though because um we can it's not likely but it's possible um book of sin can drop soul hearts which is which would be nice I'd like soul hearts soul hearts are good okay we just need to yeah see I believe the um pretty fly just blocked uh, one of his shots there which is good blocking blocking shots is good um I can see there's a secret room up there but we can't go into it because we don't have money. Uh, wait, no, we don't we don't have bombs. We have a tiny bit of money. Um Oh come on. Why are there so many spiders? Stop it, stop it, spiders, stop it, spiders, stop, stop, stop. What? Yeah, see we got a soul heart there. Oh my god. I'm so poor I'm playing so poorly. Okay. 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 Okay, stop. You can stop. 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 <sighs> playing, playing real good here, guys. Really good. Bro. Why? No, no, I'm taking damage. I'm risking it. I don't care. Holy Mantle's such a good item. I mean, you, you understand how good one free hit every single room is? You get hit on average. If you get hit, like, a lot of rooms, you'll only get hit once per room. Like you're not you're not gonna hit get, get hit like five times. Gabby said it's a really good item, so I'm picking it up. Um, you're not you're, you're oftentimes not you're not gonna get hit five times over the course of a room. You're gonna hit get hit once, and it's gonna add up over the course of a run. So this is subtracting every single one of those first hits. That was yeah. See, I, I would have taken damage there because I was stupid and thought I could avoid it. I couldn't avoid it, but now I know that I can't avoid it. So in the future, I'm going to actually try to avoid it. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not like we're going to come into that exact situation. But, you know, we we actually have... I'm not going to pick that up because uh, scapular. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, these, and also, these bats are... Uh, Guppy's head's very nice here because we do have mediocre damage. That is a tick. The tick is a... A special trinket. Um... What the tick does, okay, Gertie Jr., not horrible. What the tick does is when you enter boss, um, it takes one-sixth of its health away. Uh, when you enter boss room, it takes away one-sixth of its health 
and heals you for a half a heart. I believe. I believe that's its exact effect. I'm not 100% sure. The thing about it, once you pick it up, you can't drop it. I thought I avoided that. Um, no, like, no matter what you do, you cannot avoid it. It will, like, not, not, not avoid it. You can't drop it. If you see a trinket that you want over it, it doesn't matter. That's, that's what you're stuck with. Okay, okay. I'm gonna bomb this. That is a dime. Dimes give you 10 cents. It brings us to 19 cents, which means we can come in here. Uh, blue map is useless. Blue map shows you the location of the secret room. Uh, we don't really need any of that other stuff, so let's just donate a bit. Um, I know we unlocked Maggie by getting, um, by having four hearts, but, like, I really don't, I, I, I don't want to, I don't need to build up hearts. I'll pick these up, I guess. Um, but, like, we don't really need to build up hearts, um, so it may be a while before we unlock Maggie. Um, Maggie also is not one of my favorite characters, <laughs> so I think we're just gonna play it, uh, if we unlock Maggie, we unlock Maggie. Not gonna purposefully seek out unlocking Maggie. Um, uh, with the other, with the hidden characters, we do have to seek them out, because they're very, very odd requirements for unlocking. Well, one of them, we're just gonna get by, by nature of 100% completing the game. Like, even if it wasn't necessary to get him to 100% complete the game, you'd still have to get him to 100% complete the game. I know that doesn't make sense. Oh, well. Um. No, no. <laughs> we just blocked, like, three shots in a row with Pretty Fly. Um. Like, and, and, but one of them you very much have to seek out because the, the way to unlock it is very convoluted and is... Almost definitely not th something you're just gonna find by accident, which we'll get and we'll get to what it is eventually. Hopefully, hopefully not soon, because uh, I don't want I, I don't want to play as him. He's very scary. Um, I'm I'm just gonna leave it at a vague vague uh, hints as to the character. You know, every couple episodes I'll make a vague hint as uh, as to him. Um, and for anyone not know who doesn't know the character, by the end of the playthrough, you're gonna have like, I don't know, some mental image of like an evil monster thing that, like, like is literally impossible to play as, which it's not. Um. But yeah, okay, okay, greed, greed mini boss, not horrible. Um, it's technically not a mini boss, but whatever. Um, I think we should be able to beat him pretty fine. There, there, yeah, there we go. No, 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 there we go. You're dead. Um, that's good. That's enough money to go to the shop, um, on this floor. Um, and I'm pretty sure that me, that the fact that we fought greed here means that the, uh, shop does not, um, contain greed. I don't know, though. Um, ah, dang it. Not a single lucky penny. We unlocked lucky penny on the last one. When you pick up a penny as a chance to, um, increase your luck by one, which is very good. Because luck is luck's a relatively important stat. Not super important, but it's good to have high high luck. Because it can very much make a run better. Because getting more drops is better than getting less drops 100% of the time. Because just get by definition, getting less drops is worse. Um, I'm hoping we don't take damage to this guy. Because I don't want to use my bla the black heart charge here. Okay, good, we didn't. Um... Chariot, that's better than the lovers where we are right now. Mulligan, every time we hit an enemy, there's a small chance to spawn a blue fly, which is pretty good. Here's the shop. Okay. Sadly, there's nothing really good here. Um, the the razor, that thing that's there, is useful, but not yet. Like it's got use, and I'll if I see it at a later point, there's a good chance I'll pick it up. Bombs are key. I guess we can open this. Um, but there's there's a thing. It it it, it has a it, it has a really fun effect that we'll see when once we pick it up, if we pick it up. I well no we're, we're not if we pick it up. We'll obviously pick it up. The question is just when because you know it could be a ton of runs before we see it again. Gertie shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm gonna try to just mainly focus on um him, not the familiar dudes. Because I don't believe those... As long as I'm careful, they can't really hit me up here. Um, they, they might be able to hit, hit me in the side, but probably not. 
honestly, they're gonna be a problem. Uh, <laughs> like, I do have to be careful dodging them, but I think we'll be fine because we've got a Holy Mantle. So even if we get hit, we don't get hit. Which is, you know, really useful ability. Because, uh, why, you know, bother with, like, cheating death and all that stuff when you just don't have to death? And there we go. We should get a double boot. Why didn't we get a double boot? Dang it. Mr. Dolly, range, tears up, and drops three random hearts. Two, two red hearts and a black heart isn't horrible. Um, I would have preferred, you know, like, three soul hearts, but whatever. Um, I'm not going into the, um, the curse room there, because, uh, Holy Mantle does not activate when you spawn in on a floor. So, we had to complete the next room for Holy Mantle to activate. No, 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 stay away. Okay, soul heart, that's good. I, I want the black heart protection, because black hearts do cool things when you lose them. Um, I don't think we've covered that yet, because we haven't really gotten any, many black hearts. Uh, but when you lose a black heart, it, uh, damages everything in the room, like, a lot. Okay, spiders, spiders, um, Teratoma's not too bad, um, I th yeah, yeah, we shouldn't take damage here. We might lose Holy Mantle, but we shouldn't take damage. Um, okay, key, that's pretty nice, because we got, uh, bombs our key, which changed our bombs and keys. There we go, AAA battery, oh, there's op more options, that's really good. Um, AAA battery, uh, increases charge, um, decreases charge time for a held item, but it can't decrease it below one room, which is what Guppy's head is, so it's essentially useless for us, because Guppy's head is really good, as you can see, the flies, flies do a lot, and we don't really need to worry about too much, um, I, I can see the super secret rooms up here, um, fish head, spawns flies, you know, we could we could just go, just like every fly, everything is flies, um, fish head spawns flies when you take damage, um, I'm tempted to pick it up just because you can never have too many flies, but I'm not going to because, um, petrified poop could be useful for us. And in here we have, um, a battery, that's nice. Um, more options, even more options, I believe what does, um, uh, mix with two items in the item room. Which is, uh, you, you can only pick up one, but there's two options, which is really cool, which is really nice. Um, that's why it's called there's more options, because there's more options. Okay, I'm gonna use a chariot, because I don't feel like dealing with these guys. Um, chariot makes us invisible, f invincible for a little while, um. And I was hoping I could just trap those guys in there, and kill them while they are there, but it appears as though we couldn't. Which is sad, um. Where's the item room? I'm looking for that. That would be nice to find right about now. Um, we haven't found the item room yet. After this room, I'm going to check and just make sure we haven't found the item room. Because uh, I don't I don't want to spend too long looking for it. Because I want to try to get uh, under 20 minutes. Um, but you never know. Um, no, we have not found the item room yet. Um... Just gonna go to secret room because why not? Um, greed. That's why not, I guess. Um, dang it, greed. Um, no lucky penny, sadly. Um, I doubt the item room's here, but yeah, I was wrong. Oh well. Um, well, no, I was right, but I was wrong. Um, I was right that it wasn't here, but I was wrong going here. Because it's just wasting time. Because I doubt we're gonna take damage here. I mean, we might, honestly. I don't like these guys. They're very annoying. Yeah, we didn't take damage. We got a key for it. So it was uh, very much worth it. it. It wasn't worth it. I don't I don't think we're going to make it to boss rush. It's fun. But I want the item room. Because while this may be a good run, it's still in the realm. It's still very in the realm of, of losing. Okay, I was right there. Didn't waste too much time. And honestly, I'm kind of happy that we got it here. Oh, yeah, dead mushroom, definitely. Um, kind of, oh, wow, that was very unlucky. I'm kind of happy that we got it here and not, um, Odd Mushroom. Fire rate up, damage down. It's a very large fire rate up, but it, increase, it decreases your damage by 0.75%, uh, uh, 0.75, times 0.75, um, so it's a quarter decrease of your damage, which is annoying, but, you know, it's still fine, because we still hit pretty hard, we'll still hit decently hard. 
uh, boss of the Fallen. Fallen's not horrible. Um, it's nice because he's nice because he always because he has a 100% chance of dropping a Devil Room item. Um, I believe he can even drop Devil Room items that we haven't unlocked yet. But as you can see, we're we're making pretty good work of him. And there we go, the Razor. Not not horrible item, but not yeah yeah pretty horrible item. Definitely not a great item. Oh, I was hoping I could deal some damage to Krampus with the bomb. That that black heart's almost always worth picking up, because black hearts are good. Black hearts are nice. They're, eh. That was almost bad. <laughs> I would have been upset if I'd taken damage there. Krampus's head. It's a good space item, but it's not. Like it's a good sp. We got two essentially useless space items there. That's annoying. Would have preferred something better. Necropolis 2, um, okay, we beat him, we don't have any bombs, so we can't go to that secret room, um, that champion has his internal fly surrounding him, which means I believe we can't damage him until everyone else in the room is dead, which is annoying, but whatever, um, can't forget to use, uh, can't forget to use Guppy's head, um, because those flies are very helpful, and use the bomb to take out some of those guys. We can we can afford to use our key to enter here. Sackhead is very good. Um, basically everything has a pretty high chance of being replaced with a, um, a sack, which contains multiple items. The hermit that's good if we get to the boss um, very quickly. We're gonna use the hermit and boss rush to get out, so we don't have to. Um, yeah, like here we can use um, we can use the hermit after we beat um, mom to get out of the boss rush room. Um, so yeah, that yeah, because I, I think I think we can probably win in um uh before 20 minutes um not 100% confident but confident enough because our, our damage outputs it's not amazing but it's good enough like it's definitely usable um yeah we've used up like a quarter of our time and we're already at half health okay we'll just focus everything down. I believe the eyes do take more damage than the foot. I'm not 100% sure. So that's why I was focusing on the eyes. Um, it, it, it looks like we'll be able to do this. <laughs> Isaac, I just, oh, I just made a bad pun. So there we go. Um, last key, that's two keys and a soul heart. Um, I don't really want either of those. Um, neither of them are really useful right here. Um, so let's go into boss rush. Tiny planet. Pyro, Infestation 2, and Virgo. You know what? Infestation 2, because why not? Um, I don't think we can do boss rush, though. So I'm gonna use that to teleport out. Like, I, I just don't think we're in the position to deal, bo to deal with boss rush. But, um, I'm, I'm, going to do, I'm going to take the one soul heart of damage here. Um, because, uh, it's worth it. Um, chariot. Oh, we could we could chariot to oh dang it, I forgot which one judgment was. Um, just using the bomb to blow him up because I don't really care. Um Yeah, let's just use a chariot. <laughs> um because uh you know, you know, efficiency. Um that, 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 that was pretty worth it, I think. We got a lot of um material and stuff from that. Um then we can just let the uh flies take care of him. We'll take care of him. We get ba we we basically just have infinite flies and spiders because ev every time we we complete a room we get like three um we get three flies. Every time we hit an enemy we have a chance to spawn a fly. Um and every time we kill an enemy with our shot it spawns a spider. So um basically familiars for days. Uh super greed not gonna be a problem. Steam sale. Um, everything in the shop is 50% off. Problem is, that's gonna be, uh, useless from here, because, uh, there aren't any more shops in the entire game. Which is sad, but, oh well. Oh wow, I'm surprised I did not take any damage there. Probably should've. But I didn't, so I'm not complaining. Um. Oh, come on, petrified poop. Not helpful. Explosive diarrhea. Also not helpful. Um. Let's see if we can try to, let's try to find the item room, um. Because that'd be nice. Uh, I, 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 one of the things I really like about Holy Mantle is it, it rewards you for playing 
like, semi-recklessly. Like, you can't just make stupid decisions. But if you make not smart decisions, it doesn't instantly kill you. Which is, which is nice. Being able to... There we go, Lucky Penny. Uh, Lucky Penny kind of sometimes just, just um, stacks out of control. Because, you know, you have higher luck. You have higher chance of getting item drops. You have higher chance of getting item drops. You have more penny. You have a higher chance of a penny drop. You have more penny drops. You have a higher chance of getting another lucky of, of getting lucky penny. You have more lucky pennies. It just goes on forever. Um, you know, I've had runs where you just get just essentially infinite stuff forever. Um, we're going in here because we can. Um, to play the blood bag. Okay, IV bag. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna play this guy because we need stuff. Um, maybe we can get some lucky pennies. I don't know. Never mind. He blew up. Okay. Um, one sec. Um, the tower. I'm just gonna use the IV bag because he's got um. Yeah. See, that's why I was. Ivy bag gives you money for taking damage. Um, uh, <laughs> but you know it doesn't really matter what it does to us because we can just we have we have infinite flies and infinite spiders. Come on, stop giving me bad things. Th this isn't actually memorization; it is completely random. I, you know, maybe. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. You know what? Just just ignore me. I I feel like I know what I'm doing. I never do. But hey, money, money, money's good. Um You know what? That's enough stuff. We don't we don't need any more. Where's the battery? There's the battery. And blow them up. Bomb and Golden key would have been much more useful earlier, but hey, there's still the, um, we still haven't found the item room, so that, that does mean we save at least one key, and one key saved is a key saved, you know, it's, it's always useful, two of spades, doubles keys, um, oh boy, this is an odd fun room, um, but hey, spiders, I guess, <laughs> I guess we get some spiders, likely, because there's a lot of enemies. Um, yes, yeah, theoretically, we could farm the, um, we could theoretically farm the, uh, the, that fly dude for spiders, but I'm not doing that because that's stupid and boring, which are two things I prefer not to do. Um, take the Onk, that allows us to revive as, um, Blue Baby, uh, who's a character we have not yet seen, so actually... Technically, three hidden characters. I forgot about Blue Baby. Um, te technically, his name isn't Blue Baby. Technically, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. But everyone, including the developer of the game, Eden McMillan, calls it Blue Baby. Um, so, yeah, let's go down to the womb one with our giant, indestructible horde of spiders and flies. Uh, also, we have the um, dice shard, which what it does is... um. It, uh, it's a one-use charge. It does affect the D6 and the D20 in the same time. The D6 and D20 are items we have not yet found. Um, the D6 rerolls all of the items in the room, like any, um, pedestal items, which is what, uh, like item room items and stuff are called. Um, and the D20 rerolls all pickups in the room. So, you know, you have a, um, I see this is Binny Boss room going in here. Envy is, uh, obnoxious. No one likes Envy, um... He's considered one of the most, one of the more obnoxious mini bosses, just because there's so many of them. But we've got enough stuff that he's not a problem. Um, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember, but we'll be fine here. Um, these guys are annoying, but whatever. <laughs> Holy mantle. Holy mantle means we don't really have to worry about anything. Um, why not? Oh well, wasn't really worth it, but whatever. Doesn't no, it doesn't really matter how worth it anything is because we've got uh we've, we've got enough stuff um and I think we'll be fine against Chubb I mean it's it's Chubb we can take him down pretty easily see 
that looked pretty stupid, those dodging and stuff. That's because it was. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. I, I, I could go in there, I believe, right now. But I'm not going to because um I want to defeat Loki. Because we're pretty close and I don't think we're going to take damage. Um, I may have spoken very much too soon, though. Nope, didn't. Oh, nope. It's Womb, so there's three bosses. I forgot about that. Um, there's not more rounds in normal boss room, in um, normal challenge rooms. Normal challenge rooms are, I believe, just, or I believe, three bosses. Oh, this is good. That's very good. Um, lost contact. Um, basically, your shots have this aura around them, and if they hit an, um, an enemy tier, it stops the tier. It also sh stops the shot, or our shot, um, which is annoying, but, oh well. You know, it can be annoying if you're phasing, like, Hush, who we have not seen yet. Um, and, you know, you're firing, like, three shots every... Th you're firing, like, three shots every, like, 20 seconds, and he's shooting 50 shots every half a second, because Hush is... Hush is just obnoxious. Um, I, we'll, we'll see Hush eventually. Sadly, we'll see Hush eventually. But we will, because we have to, because we're 100% we're in the game. Um, but yeah, right now we've got, an, we've got enough fire rate that... We can just charge into enemies and likely kill them. Where is the last one? There you are. There you go. We're good. Um. But yeah, uh, like, you know, you fight. Shield. Um, lost contact can be annoying if, you know, you're facing Hush, who shoots very, very quickly. And you're shooting very slowly, and you can't hit him because your shots just get deflected off his shots. Which uh, has happened to me before. I've, I've spent like 45 minutes on Hush. Because I have to carefully aim and fire every single one of my shots. Because it'll just bounce off his shots and I'll lose like 20 seconds. Which is too long in this in a game like this. Um, okay. Okay, so what the one room do does. It revolves every single one of your items. And you know what? Because I'm stupid. We've got a great room run. But I'm stupid, so I'm gonna go for it. We have uh, transformation into Beelzebub, um, which gives us flight. I am not a hundred percent sure of what all of our items are, but you know, we'll find as find out as we go. Okay, I believe we have toxic shock. We have twenty twenty. Uh, I can see that. Um, we have something that poisons. I'm not sure what. Um, maybe common cold. I don't know. Um. Uh, we we have a strange attractor which pulls everything to your shots. Weird, which is it's a really weird item. Um, we have subpar fire rate, but not horrible fire rate. Um. Oh, we have Tauros. We have Tauros. We have pretty good damage. Um, pentagram. Um. And a black heart. Let's go down to the last floor. Okay. Weird setup. But whatever. Um, okay, Curse of Darkness. I'm just gonna raise the brightness on my computer. There we go. No problems there. Um Actually, you know what? We don't really need money. Um We're oh there's pen. There's pen. Okay, um, we're fine. We have a uh, backwards baby, which um which is the thing that um, our shots are go going through. That's cool. That's a soul heart. I know there's money in there. I don't feel like picking it up. Um, yeah, we have toxic shock, I believe. Which, um, when you walk into a room, it deals double the double your base damage to every enemy in the room. And when you kill an enemy, poison goes everywhere. Uh, mediocre item. Can be really good with proper synergy. Which we don't appear to have right now. But, oh well. Um, let's see what's in here. Three cards. Strength, Magician, Two of Spades. We'll just use Two of Spades. So we have 88 keys, which is um totally necessary number, guys. We will definitely need 88 keys. Um. Okay. Let's keep moving. We are obnoxiously slow. Um, like like way too slow. I didn't. Uh, that we have Bumbo. I didn't realize there's a door up here. That's why I didn't come up here before. Um, I just didn't see it, because I'm blind. Um, are these both champions? I think these are both champions. These are both blue champions. Wow. 
Um, this feels like it's going to be a long run. Nope, you can pick it up, Bumbo. Um, Bumbo basically just picks, he picks up money, and after he gets enough money, we'll do stuff. Um, we have Guardian Fly, which when you take damage in a room, he basically hunts the enemy down, every enemy down, and, uh, eats them. He doesn't actually eat them, he just does a ton of damage. It's pretty good, um, we don't have any space for items, sadly. I'm, I'm still just trying to figure out everything we have. Um, we have Flaming Bombs, which is mediocre. Um, we have 90 keys, which is, uh, as I said earlier, 150% totally never necessary. Ever. Never gonna be necessary. There's never a point. Actually, actually, no, no, no. I take, I take that back. If we ever get a breaking run. Actually, no, that's not a if we ever. We will eventually get a breaking run. I, you, you, you can't 100% this game without getting a breaking run at some point. I mean, you physically can, but the chance of it happening are... Like, in the point, in, in the less than 1%. Okay, the heart, we should be able to, we should be able to take the heart. I don't know, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we should be fine. Um, so, okay, oh, come on, I didn't want to take damage there. Um, I don't know if we'll get, um, if we get the devil room to shoal, but we might. We've got very good Tauros damage, which is cool. Um, let's try not to get hit by that again. Okay, so we can go down to Shoal. That's cool. Um, let's go down to Shoal, because that means we'll get another piece of the... If we win, we get another piece of terror of, um, negative, which is what you get when you beat, um, Shoal. Uh, everything is terrible, uh, is what you get for beating, uh, the heart six times, which I believe, I guess, I guess we just did. Um, which is cool. Uh, it's... The title is, uh, pretty, pretty... Pretty, pretty accurate. Um, enemies hit harder. Uh, they're, and, and they're, they're, no, they don't hit harder. There's more champion enemies. There's stronger enemies. There's everything's everything is terrible, essentially. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty pretty accurate, pretty accurate uh, title. Okay, fallen, n not cool. Stop it. Hopefully we can find the boss soon, because I don't think we can survive in Shoal for too long. Because we're not, we're not doing horrible, but we're not doing great. Okay, nope, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Where are you? I see you. Okay, I'm feeling the boss is potentially this way, maybe. Okay, the thing about those little mini haunts... They actually spawn, um, like, about a second after the everything else in the room. Meaning, they don't take damage from, um, from that, from, uh, the poison, uh, from toxic nuke thing, whatever, I don't remember what it's called, um, which damages the instant you go into the room. So, with him, who we don't take damage when we walk in, who doesn't take damage for the instant you walk into the room, he doesn't take damage from that item, which is annoying. Um, we do have Lord of the Flies, so we have Flight. Um, Lord of the Flies isn't amazing. Um, oh boy, <laughs> I was just I was expecting that. Um, honestly, I don't even fully remember what Lord of the Flies does. I just remember that it's not an amazing transformation. So yeah, okay, let's move on to the final boss. Okay. Oh god. Stop. Stop it, eels. Um, I I believe we are immune to explosives because of um, uh, the host hat, um, which is uh, the thing on our head. Okay. Let's let's kill these guys. Then maybe we can get a bit of damage. Oh dang it! That was me being stupid. One hundred percent just my stupidity. Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You don't need to be everywhere in the room. Though, I, I do think we have this run. Uh, also, we can't be stomped on. So, that's cool. Um, yeah, we're immune to explosions and being stomped on. Just other, other not nice things. But, that's a win. Satan as Cain complete. You know what? This time, I think I'll show the credits. 
Because, you know, I kind of, I'm supposed to show the credits. <laughs> um, so. We have completed another Vaughn, another victory. Vaughn advisor, graph birth development staff. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to read all of these. I'm just going to let it play through. Why does that guy get a picture? That's funny. There, there isn't much to say. It's just the credits. Pretty sure I saw a reference to Splatoon there somewhere. Um, some, some of these, some, some of these drawings are actually really funny. <laughs> um. Oh, I thought I could control the. Um. Okay. The bomb bag. So. That's another piece of the Polaroid. And another victory for us. So in the next episode, we're going to be playing as Lilith. Um, so, until then, goodbye.